What's going on guys, it's Hi, and I previously made a video showcasing the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. This cannon actually turned out to be my favorite foam cannon, and I've been using it ever since getting it. Well, I was recently contacted by MJJC and they informed me that there is now a 2.0 version and wanted to see if I wanted to review it. I of course did, and here we are. So what's the difference with the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro 2.0? According to what MJJC told me, there are four major differences. The first change is that the black plastic parts are supposed to be upgraded and look better. To be honest, I don't see this. Version 1 and version 2 look exactly identical to me. The black plastics do not look or feel any different and the color is seemingly the same. Change number 2 is that there is more brass parts inside of the head. It is heavier and supposed to feel better. I don't have a scale that measures small weights so can't tell you the weight difference but the 2.0 does feel a slight bit heavier in hand. In this case I just have to take the manufacturer's word that more brass is there and that's better. The third change is that Foam Cannon Pro 2.0 is supposed to produce more foam than 1.0. To test this, I added 3 ounces of Chemical Guys Watermelon Snow Foam in one of the water reservoirs and filled it up to the 800ml indicator line. I'm going to show you what the foam looks like back to back, switching from one cannon head to the other while using the same mixed soap solution. The difference may be hard to discern since we're just looking at soap bubbles, but from what I see, Foam Cannon Pro 2.0 does seem to produce thicker foam than 1.0. 1.0's foam goes on thick, but it flattens out quicker and starts to roll off faster. But I do have to note that this test is by no means definitive. There's a lot of user errors that could have occurred. I know for sure I didn't do the same number of spray passes and didn't spray for the same amount of time so there isn't an even amount of foam. There was just no realistic way of doing that. All I can say is that I did see this a few times and the results seem to always show the same thing. Foam Cannon Pro 2.0 always had thicker foam than 1.0. The final change is that the head of version 2.0 is supposed to be smoother in operation than 1.0. With this, I saw no real differences. The knobs turned and did what they're supposed to do, so no complaints and no points towards one or the other. Again, they realistically just felt the exact same. Okay, four supposed changes from 1.0 to 2.0. I didn't really see that the changes to the plastic and feel of the head were worth noting, but the inclusion of more brass internals and the thicker foam is a plus. Those are likely the things that most customers are going to want and the 2.0 delivers. I already thought that the Foam Cannon Pro 1.0 was the best Foam Cannon under $60, so the upgrades with the 2.0 just made it all the better. If you don't have a Foam Cannon and are in this price range, the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro 2.0 is definitely worth a look at. If you already have the 1.0, I personally don't think that you should go out and spend another $60 on the 2.0, but if you really want that extra bit of foam thickness, then sure, go for it. Now considering that I have the Foam Cannon Pro 2.0, I want to do a giveaway for the 1.0. I will be giving this Foam Cannon away to a Pro Card level YouTube member. All you have to do is hit the join button next to the subscribe button, sign up for the Pro Card level, and you'll be entered. The winner drawing will be held when there is a minimum of 5 Pro Card members, and all members at this level will be entered for monthly giveaways moving forward. If you prefer Patreon, you can also support me there and it's the same deal. Sign up for Pro Card level or above and you'll be entered. These are just ways to give back to those who support me and help me be able to monetarily sustain this channel. As always, I appreciate it if you can give this video a like, share it around, subscribe for more content, and again consider hitting the join button on YouTube or become a patron on Patreon to further support my work. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.